my table has a wobble, and I know why. This waterfall table started as a seven foot long slab from which I cut the legs, made it into the waterfall. And so that slab had just a little bit of a twist in it, which I knew as I was working on it. So when I turn these ends into legs and the top isn't quite dead flat, we have this. So whether this is in a table or a chair or whatever you own, we can solve it the same way. So the first thing is we want to be on a flat surface. And I know that my workbench is nice and flat. Some people do this on their table saw. Bottom line is we got to be on a nice flat surface. What I'm looking for is how much gapicity is there when all the rock is taken out on one side. So right now, all the rock is taken out. It's sitting on this back leg. And on the front leg, I want a good measurement, which is 5 16 of an inch. We need to know how much that gapicity is. I'm going to take this off for a sec. Because I got to flip it upside down and I want to have some pads on the table. All right, having a little bit of a brain bubble and I don't want to screw this up. Brain bubble being. I want to make sure I'm going to make my correction on the correct legs. So I'm going to mark them, this one and this one. So here's the deal. The two legs I marked are effectively too long. And that's what's making us wobble. Now again, it's not that the legs are too long, it's that there's a little bit of a twist in the system here. So when we have 5 16 gap, we want to split that between the two offending legs. So the legs that I just X'd, there's one and there's one. What I need to do is mark the amount of material I want to remove. So 5 16 Half of that is 5.30 seconds. Setting my combination square. And there's my 5.30 seconds line. Same thing on this leg. Now, next step, it depends. If the amount of material about to come off is the thickness of a piece of paper, you might want to just use a block plane and plane that down to the line. This is a cuttable amount. There's enough there that I can use a handsaw to work on this. So, to make that happen, we're going to go down on the floor. And there's my line. Fine tooth Japanese pull saw is a good solution for this. thing to the other leg.
All right, let's see how she looks now. Got it in the first try. <laughs> that doesn't happen often. It's not uncommon that you do that first trim and maybe you have to go back and do just a tiny bit of tweaking. And again, when it gets down to where you're talking about tiny parts of an inch to come off of those legs, I would block plane or a sanding block or something that's gonna really let you finesse that last little bit. So, wobbles out of this one, it's good to go. Some sanding and some finish and I'm gonna have a beautiful wobble-free table here.